the three biggest changes I've seen in the real estate market over the last three months. Hi, I'm Jose Medina, and today I'm here to talk to you about a very fast, kind of unusual market, real estate market that we're experiencing. And some of the three biggest changes that I've seen going on with buyers and sellers in today's real estate market. So the first thing I would say is what I have noticed is this kind of return to seasonality. And so what that means is uh, in 2020, 21, 22, we just saw the market go crazy. And regardless of the time of the year, regardless of pandemics, regardless of holidays and the weather, like none of that was really stopping the real estate market. And so what I have seen is there's kind of been a return to seasonality. We have seen kind of some ebbs and flows with uh, different holidays, with um, weather patterns. And so we've just seen buyers just kind of return to this normal, hey, sometimes I'm in the market, sometimes it's not important to go look at houses, depending on what else is going on with the world. So we have seen that return in the last few months. The second big change I have seen in the last uh, few months is uh, what we call seller concessions. So again, we'll wind back two, three years ago, we were seeing buyers do whatever they had to, to win houses. Um, and sellers put list prices on houses and it was really, it was really like a starting price and, and buyers would just throw everything at sellers, escalation clauses, appraisal gaps, uh, everything. They were just throwing everything. Uh, my first born child, you can have it if I can just have this house. Um, and now what we're starting to see is kind of a shift in uh, what buyers are asking for and how they're kind of uh, negotiating transactions. So in the last couple of months, I've seen uh, more inspections, more inspection repairs. I've seen sellers being asked to do a, a rate buy down. We've had sellers pay closing costs. Um, sellers consider contingencies. So these are all things that we've not seen in the last two to three years that are kind of returning back to the real estate market. One caveat with that is I would say uh, it's really critical to read the room. Uh, is what I would call it. And understand if that listing that you're looking at, if you're a buyer and there's a listing that you're looking at, uh, understand uh, what's going on with the activity of the house. Is there multiple offers? Has it been on the market for two weeks and there's no one interested? So understand that before you start asking for seller concessions. The last thing I would say is uh, I've really seen buyers kind of return to being more cautious. Again, rewind a couple years ago in the in the market that we just came out of, and buyers were literally doing anything they could to to secure a house. And and over the last couple months, between the rates, between the media, between seasonality, between the economy, we just seen buyers kind of approach properties and approach approach uh, investing in a property uh, with more caution. And rightfully so, uh, they should be. You're making a large investment. You should have some caution and some thought around that. Here's the last thing I'll say is now more than ever, regardless of if you're buying a house or if you're selling a house, you really need to have an agent that's tuned in to your local market and understanding what's going on. If you're interested in, in chatting about what we do, how we help buyers and sellers on a daily basis, we'd love a chance to talk to you. Jose Medina with Keller Williams.